Hello everyone, welcome to Business School 101. Have you ever wondered how companies can sell products or use technologies they didn't develop themselves? The answer often lies in a business arrangement known as licensing. But what exactly is licensing? How does it work? Are there some real-world examples? What are its advantages and challenges? In this video, I'll discuss these questions with you. Section 1. What is licensing? Licensing is a legal agreement where one party, the licensor, grants permission to another party, the licensee, to use intellectual property, IP, such as a trademark, patent, or copyright. In exchange, the licensor typically receives a fee or royalty from the licensee. Licensing allows businesses to expand their reach without the need for direct investment in product development or market entry. For example, one of the most well-known examples of licensing is Disney, which licenses its characters to various companies that produce toys, clothing, and other merchandise featuring characters like Mickey Mouse and Marvel superheroes. Disney, as the licensor, receives royalties, while the licensees benefit by using Disney's valuable intellectual property to grow their product lines. Section 2, Types of Licensing Agreements. Here are three major types of licensing agreements. Number 1. Trademark licensing, this allows a company to use another company's brand or logo in exchange for a fee. For example, a sportswear manufacturer may license the Nike or Calvin Klein logos to produce and sell clothing under their brands. Number 2. Patent licensing, patent licensing gives the licensee the right to use a patented technology or invention. For example, Qualcomm licenses its patented wireless communication technologies to smartphone manufacturers. Number 3. Copyright licensing, this allows the licensee to use copyrighted works such as books, music, or software. For example, a publishing company may license the rights to translate and sell a best-selling novel in a new language. Section 3. How does licensing work? Licensing typically involves a formal agreement outlining the terms and conditions of the arrangement. Key components include, number 1. Scope of use. The agreement normally specifies how the licensee can use the intellectual property, such as geographic restrictions or the duration of use. For example, Netflix signed a deal with Sony Pictures to stream Sony's films exclusively in the US for a set period after their theatrical release. The agreement included a four-year term, limiting Netflix's streaming rights to the US while other regions had different distributors. Number 2. Royalties and Fees the licensee pays the licensor a fee, either as a one-time payment or through ongoing royalties based on sales or usage. For example, Spotify licenses music from record labels like Universal Music Group, paying royalties to artists and labels based on streaming counts. Each time a song is played, the licensee, Spotify, pays a small royalty to the licensor, the record label and artists, creating ongoing revenue from the use of their intellectual property. Number 3. Exclusivity, the licensor may grant exclusive rights to a single licensee or non-exclusive rights to multiple companies. For example, LEGO secured an exclusive licensing agreement with Nintendo to produce Super Mario-themed LEGO sets. This agreement gave LEGO exclusive rights to create construction sets based on the Super Mario brand, preventing other toy companies from entering that space with similar products. Section 4. Benefits of Licensing Licensing offers several benefits for both licensors and licensees. Number 1. Market expansion for licensors. Licensing allows licensors to enter new markets without investing in production or distribution. For example, a US-based clothing company could license its brand to a manufacturer in Japan, allowing it to expand internationally without direct investment. Number 2. Lower risk for licensees. Licensees can access established brands or technologies, avoiding the high cost of development. For example, a small beverage company might license Coca-Cola's formula to produce and sell Coke in a new region, benefiting from the global brand recognition. Number 3. Additional revenue for licensors. Licensors generate additional income from fees or royalties without direct involvement in operations. For example, a technology company can license its patented innovation to other manufacturers, earning revenue through ongoing royalties. Section 5. Challenges of Licensing. While licensing offers significant advantages, it also comes with challenges. Number 1. Loss of control. Licensors risk losing control over how their intellectual property is used, leading to possible brand dilution or inconsistent product quality. For example, if a luxury fashion brand licenses its name to a budget manufacturer, it risks damaging its premium image. Number 2. 
Dependency on the licensee's performance, a licensor's success may depend on the licensee's ability to market or distribute the product. Poor performance can negatively impact both parties. For example, a poorly managed distributor of a licensed software product can damage the licensor's reputation if the product is poorly marketed or supported. Number 3. Legal and Regulatory Compliance Licensing agreements across borders may involve navigating complex legal environments and protecting intellectual property in unfamiliar regulatory frameworks. For example, a U.S. software company licensing its product in Europe must ensure compliance with local data privacy regulations. Section 6. Summary. To sum up, licensing is a powerful strategy that allows companies to expand their market reach, generate additional revenue, and leverage intellectual property without direct involvement in production. Whether through trademark, patent, or copyright licensing, this model offers flexibility and opportunities for both licensors and licensees. However, managing the risks associated with licensing agreements, such as loss of control and legal challenges, is essential for success. All right, that's all for today's topic. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more business insights. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.